and to quote Alan Stern, New Horizons principal investigator from the Southwest Research Institute in Colorado, quote, it is clear to me that the solar system saved the best for last. We could not have explored a more fascinating or scientifically important planet at the edge of our solar system. The New Horizons team worked for 15 years to plan and execute this flyby and Pluto paid us back in spades. So in this video, we will talk about NASA's New Horizons spacecraft. By the way, the data in this video is largely inspired from nasa.gov website and the animation are just for visual and learning purposes and do not reflect all the complexities of this topic. So please take them with a grain of salt. The New Horizons spacecraft launched on January 19, 2006, beginning its odyssey to Pluto and the Kuiper Belt. New Horizons was the first mission to Pluto completing the space age reconnaissance of the planets that started 50 years earlier. It was also the first mission to explore the solar system recent discovered third zone, the region beyond the giant planet called the Kuiper Belt. The flyby of Pluto on July 14, 2015 was a resounding success and New Horizon sent home data that resulted in profound new insights about Pluto and its moon. This data will continue to be analyzed for many years to come. New Horizons continue on its own parallel journey of exploration with the close flyby of a Kuiper belt object called 2014 MU69, officially named as Arrowcourt on January 1st, 2019. The Kuiper belt is a scientifically rich frontier. Its exploration has important implications for better understandings of comets, small planets, the solar system as a whole, the solar nebula, and disks around other stars. It is a laboratory for studying well-preserved primitive materials from the planet formation era about 4.6 billion years ago. And to learn more about our solar system, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned on what is coming next. You can check my courses like the Amazon Leadership Principle course or the course about a brief introduction about America and a lot more, of course, links in the description below. The New Horizons Kuiper Belt Extended Mission, however, is much more than the close flyby of Arrowhead. The mission also takes advantage of the unique capabilities of New Horizon as an observation platform in the Kuiper Belt to study dozens of other KBOs in multiple ways that cannot be done from our planet Earth. New Horizon is also making groundbreaking measurements of dust and the heliospheric plasma environment across the Kuiper Belt. The New Horizon spacecraft is roughly 8 feet or 2.5 meters across and weighed approximately 1,050 pounds or 480 kilograms, so about half a ton when first fueled. It is about the size and shape of a baby grand piano. So here are some frequently asked questions. How long does it take to get to Pluto? Traveling to Pluto using the minimum amount of fuel would take longer than 30 years. NASA's Voyager mission demonstrated the advantages of using the gravity of the giant planets, particularly Jupiter, to boost a spacecraft and reduce travel times to the outer solar system. Travel time to Pluto would be a bit longer with other vehicles. New Horizons, using a flyby of Jupiter in February 2007, arrived at Pluto in 2015. The journey took over nine and a half years. Next question, why not go into orbit around Pluto? Pluto's gravity is very weak so that it takes a large amount of energy to go into orbit around the planet. And when New Horizons zip past Pluto at nearly 14 kilometers per second or more than 30,000 miles per hour, there was no practical way to store the tremendous amount of energy the spacecraft would need to slow down enough to begin an orbit mission. A flyby mission provides many images and other kinds of information about Pluto and its moon, as well as an opportunity to fly on to another Kuiper Belt object. Next question, how much does a mission to Pluto cost? The cost of the mission, including the launch vehicle and operation through the pluto Charon encounter is roughly 700 million US dollars. Divided among the population of the United States, according to the United States Census Bureau data, over the 10 year duration of the mission, this comes out to about 25 cents per person and per year in the United States. Next question, what would you weigh on Pluto? 
just below 7% of your earthly weight on Pluto. So to be a little more accurate, every 100 pounds of weight on our planet Earth would weigh just 6.7 pounds on Pluto. Let me know what you think about New Horizon and about Pluto in the comment section. Thanks for watching and goodbye.